In this video, we'll write the equation for BaOH2 plus H2O. That's barium hydroxide plus water. Barium is a metal, and then oxygen and hydrogen, those are nonmetals. They're actually bound together in what's called a polyatomic ion, the hydroxide ion. So we have a metal and nonmetals. This is ionic. So we'll go to the periodic table, look up the ionic charge on barium, and barium's in group 2, so it has a 2 plus charge. And then the hydroxide, because it's a polyatomic ion, we'll look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions. Hydroxide has a negative 1 charge. So we'll put solid barium hydroxide in the liquid water, and this will dissociate or dissolve, and we'll end up with Ba2+, plus, this is the barium ion, plus the OH-, minus, the hydroxide ion. And because we have a 2 here, this 2 means that we have two hydroxide ions. We do need to put a 2 in front of this OH here. Because this barium and hydroxide, these ions are dissolved in water, we can write AQ after them. And that means aqueous, or dissolved in water. So we do that for both of these. And that shows that they're dissolved in water. Because of that, we don't have to write H2O over here on the product side of this equation. That makes this the equation for BaOH2 plus H2O, barium hydroxide in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.